And we know that the Labor Party is torn. The Labor Party is torn. They are torn by the Green movement, who is now affecting their policy, driving their policy, and we are torn by it. They are torn by the fact that they will no longer stand up for labourers. They will no longer stand up for the working men and women. They have turned their back on the working men and women. They have turned their back on the working men and women of Australia. And I'll take the interjection. The inference drawn, the inference drawn by the member for Maribyrnong in front of a full press gallery this morning, a very competent fourth estate. Not one of them drew that inference. Not one of them drew the extension and the exaggeration that the member for Maribyrnong has now placed on the record. I think that is disgraceful, what the member for Maribyrnong did. Absolutely disgraceful, because that extension, that exaggeration, brought into play something that was never there. And if it was there, the member for Maribyrnong would turn around. He would turn around. He would turn around and at least show his face. He would show his face, but of course the member for Maribyrnong will not, because the member for Maribyrnong has changed since then. He has changed since then, because once upon a time he supported minors, now he no longer does. The member for Kingston will cease interjecting and is warned, and the member for Lindsay has already been warned, so she can leave under no for a. The manager of opposition business on, uh, with a question. Thanks, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Deputy Prime Minister. Prior to question time, the Leader of the Opposition asked the Deputy Prime Minister to apologise to the family of Larry Knight for his left them for dead comment. The Deputy Prime Minister was asked to make this apology prior to rising to his feet on any other issue and that would have been the end of the matter. Does the Deputy Prime Minister honestly consider the performance he just gave in this House was more important than an apology to the Knight family? Does he have any understanding of the gravity of the office that he holds? Yeah. The Deputy Prime Minister. I thank the Honourable Member for his question, and he knows full well. He knows full well that the inference that was drawn by the member for Maribyrnong is completely and utterly out of order. That exaggeration and extension was merely for his political for his Isaacs political purpose. For his political purpose. If that inference was clear and prevalent and relevant, then a very competent fourth estate would have drawn me to, drawn that to my attention during the press conference. But it wasn't there. It wasn't there, Member and it never was there. And I have the greatest respect for Larry Knight, who, at 44 years old, at 44 years old, lost his life. And not once will I besmirch his character. Not once will I besmirch his character. But if you want to read the, the transcript yourself, Member for Watson, you will see that I was talking to the, mes, the Member, Member for Maryland and what he says, and read it now. The Member for Melly. 